Joe Bartolotta, how are you? It's just another night at the office for Joe Bartolotta. Joe has a lot of offices these days. He had 11 businesses with 700 employees. It's, it's tough to keep track of. We're a 17-year-old company. And so our first restaurant is a long way from where we are right now. Even during this tight economy, the Bartolotta restaurants are thriving. Our numbers have been very solid. I think in part because we have uh, a really strong customer base. We have a strong brand, a lot of loyalty in the marketplace. To keep that momentum going, Joe meets regularly with his executive chefs and general managers. A big item at today's meeting, Harbor House, Joe's new restaurant on the lakefront. The company spent a lot of money remodeling the building, and so far the Milwaukee dining public has responded. The jury's still out. I think, uh, by all accounts, Harbor House is, is exceeded most people's expectations. It's very, very busy. Um, I don't know what we did last night, but, um, huh? 19. 19. It was probably over 300 people on a Monday night, and so the, the numbers are pretty staggering. Joe was concerned that opening another high-profile restaurant would take away business from his other establishments. On any given night, there's only so many people that are going to go out to dinner. It's a finite number. But everyone at the big table agrees that hasn't happened yet. I think we're hurting other restaurants probably more than our, our own brand at this point right now. If you look at Open Table, it lists the, top, the three most busiest restaurants in the state are in order. Harbor House, Mr. Bean's, and Lake Park Bistro. I'm pretty happy about that. I'm really happy about that. Joe told me Bartolotta's is a chef-driven company, but no one gets to be a chef for Joe Bartolotta without first cooking a meal for Joe Bartolotta. You nervous? Uh, a little bit. I wasn't expecting cameras this afternoon. But... Today, Kevin Rick has driven in from Sheboygan to audition to be a chef for the Bartolotta's catering operation at the Great Exchange. He'll make lunch for Joe and some of his top managers. What's on top here again? I'm sorry. Mushroom gratin. The filet is cooked to what temperature? You I think? usually cook them to medium, medium rare. So this would be medium rare. Kevin's filet gets mixed reviews. A little rare. It is a little under yeah. medium rare. Right, I agree. Oh, that is pretty rare. It eats better than it looks. Yeah. The Swiss chard is a hit. It's good. It's really good. Mm -hmm. There's cinnamon. Got a little in cinnamon there. in it. The verdict? For the most part, I think we all agreed that a lot of the individual components worked really well. Okay. I think all your dishes were very busy. Um, we, we are a little bit more simplistic in our approach. Okay. Okay. Our plating, our plating, we would need to spend some time with you and you need to sort of adapt. And Kevin will get the chance to work with Joe on his plating. He got the job. After auditioning a chef that afternoon, Joe works as a chef that night. Joe and his wife Jennifer cook about 20 in-home dinners every year. People bid on the dinners at various charitable auctions, and the Bartolottas will come to their homes and prepare quite the feast, raising thousands of dollars for local charities. We make a big splash out of it. We do a really nice job. It's normally a four-course meal with a bunch of appetizers and great wine. And I get to go into a lot of people's homes and you know, get some real quality FaceTime with people. And they, they're interested in the story. And of course, I love to tell it. The whole electronic media is a whole new area for us. But on most nights, Joe's a traveling man. I have a brand new car with 10 months on it. And uh, I've already got about 20,000 miles on it. How's it going tonight? It's going really well, actually. <laughs> I normally do a swing. Uh, I try to hit three restaurants a night. And I never let people know exactly where I'm going to be because I think that that keeps uh, the pressure on, so to speak. Joe's employees don't know when he's coming, but there's no mistaking when he shows up. We got the raw bar going here. How are you? Hi, Joe. This CEO is a real people person. You have to love people. How are you? Joe Bartolotta. I, I got to tell you, I, I meet sometimes 300 people a night. Tonight, Joe is getting his just desserts, trying out different desserts before they're put on the menu at Harbor House. Really good. Love the panna cotta, sugar on these. Maybe try it with banana. Really good. Very nice. To That's a winner. Joe's management style is hands-on when it comes to the direction of the company's big picture, but hands-off when it comes to his employees. I believe in empowering people to make their own decisions, and I don't want to micromanage people, and I, I treat them with dignity and respect and people stay in our company for a long time. I, I love my job. I love my job because I have a great leader. Good. Another night at the office for Joe Bartolotta. But what does tomorrow hold?
Will he open more restaurants? I don't have a number in my brain, but, but I do look at business opportunities. Do we go to Madison? Do we go to the Fox River Valley? Do you go to the northern suburbs of, of Illinois? You know, is there more opportunity for our growth? I think there probably is somewhere along the line. But I also am cautious. I don't want to grow too rapidly, too quickly. I think you grow smart. You, you don't spin out of control. And that's something that I, I, I do worry about. I'll stop by and do it a little bit more. You have to, as a company, continue to reinvent yourself. And I think that's what the guest is looking for. Well, thank you very much for coming in. Thank you. In Milwaukee, Mark Concannon on Milwaukee.com.